Hello everybody and welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web on YouTube. Today we are going to talk about a viral video of Dr. Owen Strand advocating that we enact church discipline on those who are woke in our congregations. And without further ado, let us roll tape. We are speaking the truth in love. We are demolishing strongholds, according to Paul in 2 Corinthians 10.4. A lot of us today, we don't think in those terms. That language sounds kind of hostile and arrogant and imperial and very Western. That is an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, martyred in the Christian faith, who tells us that he demolishes strongholds, the Corinthian church is to demolish strongholds, and by extension, 2,000 years later, roughly, you demolish strongholds that would seek to take you captive. We want unity in the truth of Jesus Christ but where people have embraced wokeness. We must follow the steps of discipline per Matthew 18, 15 to 20. We need to treat them as if they are being taken captive by ungodly ideology because they are. I'm talking in particular about this fourth group. Even as we also publicly confront those teaching unbiblical ideas in a broader sense. Though it will pain us greatly, excommunication must be enacted for those who, after going through the Matthew 18 steps, we pray we don't have to go all the way to the end, but if we do, excommunication must happen for those who do not repent of teaching CRT, wokeness, and intersectionality. At the institutional level, the same principle applies. Trustees, voting members, organizational heads, educational boards, and so on, must not tolerate the spread of wokeness any longer. Not one day more. Not one hour more. It is time. It is time for a line in the sand. Now, everything that Owen Strand said is correct, and I don't want to take away from any of it. This is what happens when you follow your arguments to their logical conclusion. If you believe that this woke ideology is a false gospel, which I do, it is called the social justice gospel. If you believe that it is a heresy, then by all means, we should be enacting church discipline on those who proclaim it. And we should be educating our congregations so that people do not go along with it. It is a false gospel that is meant to tear us away from the faith. And I'm glad that Dr. Owen Strand is standing up for the true gospel, and I hope he continues to do the same. Um, this is not an incident that will be of little consequence, I don't think. In fact, you know, he is a uh, professor within the Southern Baptist Convention, so this could actually be very impactful, and we'll, it'll be interesting to see where this goes from here. But, you know, like I said, he is taking the arguments to their logical conclusion. If you believe that this is a false gospel, and it is, then by all means enact the church discipline. Even if it leads to excommunication. We should not back down from this. In fact, we need to rev up this rhetoric. So that's all I got to say about that. My name is Ray, and I will catch you on the next one.